pile number one, <laughs> pile number one, who has their eye on you? Okay. The person that has their eye on you is someone who very, very intelligent person, very inquisitive. This person is a, a very curious person. Like they like to know more and do more and explore more. And I don't know why I just heard the Discovery Channel. So maybe they like the Discovery Channel. I like, but the person that has their eye on you is someone who loves to watch you, loves to see you, loves to be around you. This could be someone who's a friend of yours. Like a distant friend of yours. Hmm. The person that has their eye on you is someone who likes to work. Whether this is their own job or if you work with them, then they like to work with you. Um, and if that's not the case, if you don't work with this person, this is someone who just likes to work. And this isn't coming necessarily from a standpoint of them just liking to work just because they like to work. This is someone who likes to work on themselves. This is someone who likes to be better than they were before. This is someone who enjoys like competition with themselves, you know? This is someone who's tunnel vision and focused on their own life. So when I say distant friend, it's maybe because you don't see this person often. But they're around. I mean, they have their eye on you. <laughs> they have their eye on you. So they're around or they're watching or they're observing, you know. This The person that has their eye on you feels like there's something to do with the way that they are. Like this person feels like it's hard for them to stay attached. This person feels like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So this is your friend. This is a distant friend, like I said. This person feels like it's hard to keep friends or it's hard to come by genuine people or something like that and they feel like it has something to do with them and how they operate like i said this person could be distant and they feel like the requirements for like friendship can be too much for them so they may not have many friends and it's because of this distant quality that they have. Yeah, the person that has their eye on you is, hmm, I heard coming back around. This is someone who really, they like the way that you operate. They like the way that you, they like you. Whoever this person is who has their eye on you, they like you, okay? So take that how that resonates because this could be they like you on a romantic level or this could just be like they really like you as a friend, right? You'll have to know. But all in all, this person likes you. And this person has this, this vibe of, you know, hmm. It's kind of like a, I like you 
but I don't know about you. Like, I don't know about you, but I like you. I think that you and this person, mirror, you know what? This is what it is. You and, you and this person mirror the same aspects back to each other. So it's like the ways that they would be tricky, the ways that they would be um, unclear, right? Purposefully, you mirror that back. So then it keeps like this intrigue between you two, you know, that that's really what it is. It's the easiest way to break that down. You know, it seems like it's, um, they're, they're curious and they are curious, but it's just, you're mirroring, you're mirroring parts of them back to them that they don't like to speak about because these are the parts that they purposefully keep hidden. I hope that makes sense. And I'm not really feeling this on like a grand scale or anything. Like I'm not feeling any like deep secrets and, and you're like mirroring their deep secrets back to them. I, I don't feel that way. I just feel like this is a, the person who has their eye on you likes you because they see themselves in you, honestly. And that's what they like. But then they think about it and they're like, uh, do I want that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but then they keep coming back around. So it's like they do. They do want that. Um, but this is who has their eye on you. It's like this person wants to know. It's like this person. Yeah. Okay. This person may, may have gone to a reader, a psychic. I mean, if both of you two are into that, maybe they have done it themselves, but there's something with this person where they want to know where this connection will end up. Like they want to know, yeah, this person gets that way. They they want to know what is this connection? Where will it end up? You know, like what will this connection be in 10 years? Or what will this connection be in two weeks? You know, <laughs> something to do with time and longevity of this connection. They want to know the end game of it. You know, but it, yeah, they want to know. And this person's like, they have this energy of like, before I invest myself into this connection, I want to know where it'll end. Right. And it's like, that's not how life works. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like if you see something you like, if you see something you vibe with, if, 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 if the chemistry is there, you choose if that's what you want to invest yourself in, but you never fully know where, where relationships are going to end up. I think that you're showing this person that, and that there is pretty scary to them. They're like, nah, no, uh-uh. So yeah, the person that has their eye on you, like I said, this could be a distant friend. Now you can take that um, however it resonates. It could just be like this person isn't always around or this could be someone who is at a distance from you. So <laughs> I'm picking up on food here. Maybe you've cooked for this person before or they would like for you to or something to do with food. I'm seeing someone like sniffing the air and being like, where's that smell coming from, right? And it leads them to your place <laughs> because you're cooking. Or maybe you've invited this person over and they said that it smelled good or something. The person who has their eye on you, um, they could be a bit skeptical. I think this is just a trait that they have. It doesn't really have much to do with you, pile number one. And that's just in life, really. Life lesson. A lot of things don't really have much to do with you. Just a reminder if you guys forgot. <laughs> but yeah, this person who has their eye on you, they could they could be skeptical or controversial or they could be on the fence about a lot of things in their life. Like this is the type of person who doesn't like to fully invest themselves into things. And I want to say because of fear. They like to ride that line as long as they can. Right? As long as they can before they have to decide. Yeah, let's get more. 
Who has their eye on my pile number ones? Interesting energy. Um, all right, I want to clarify this. Um, all right, Eight of Cups. I'm hearing, I don't know about that. I, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Goes really well with this energy. Again, this person could be someone who's skeptical or they feel like they need to come to a like a full conclusion before they decide on something or it's like this person wants to be explorative and they want to be able to do, like dive deep into things and stuff like that but there's something that stops them it's them overthinking or it's them thinking of many different outcomes at one time trying to figure out what what an outcome will be instead of like immersing yourself you know that's scary yeah that's scary to them they're like no immersing myself no <laughs> this person's like no 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 mm -mm. no 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 <laughs> No, I won't be doing that, you know? This person gives me the energy of someone who lives on the outside of a lot of experiences, you know? They may feel like they miss out on things or maybe they have a fear of missing out at the same time. Or they just feel like they usually observe but they never experience. But then they get in, then they get like, okay, got it. Yeah, they feel this way, but then they get something handed to them so that they can experience and then they just observe, you know? There's something here. It's a fear. It's fear. It's a fear thing, you know? It's a fear thing where they're like, no, like I really want to be that person that immerses myself kind of, but like I can't fully do that. This is how they feel about you. All right. This is how they feel. You are someone who is very captivating to them. Very captivating. But they choose not to fully explore this person. They have a lot going on in, in the mental world, as you can see. I mean, we've got the Nine of Swords here. But they have a lot going on uh, when it comes to their thought process, how they think about the things. It's like, I think this person can get um, obsessive when it comes to certain things certain um patterns that they see in people it's like yeah this person yeah yeah they have their eye on you though because they they are very genuinely curious about your connection <laughs> let's get more who has yeah i cut the deck got the emperor um who has their eye on my pile number ones you have this energy about you that like drives them crazy pile number one i, I mean you're like yeah this person has the energy and i think that they've come to the conclusion that you know I'll always feel this way about pile number one if I don't um, explore this connection or something like that. But they're like, they're okay with that. This isn't like they feel this way and then they're gonna just do it. Again, this person gives me a very skeptical energy. So like this nine of swords energy, they, they could be okay with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. They could be okay with that. They, they they don't necessarily have to free their thoughts. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Let's get more. Uh, who has their eye on my pile number one? Spirit, clarify the queen of wands. Mm. 
Wow, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Cut the deck. The emperor was there. Then the emperor comes out again. Who has their eye on my pile number ones? I heard an instructor. Yeah, I mean, the person that has their eye on you. <laughs> yeah, it, pile number one, the person that has their eye on you, they um can't make up their mind. Jeez, they, I cut the deck, king of wands. This person cannot make up their mind. Uh, this person is definitely like a head over heart. Yeah, because this person feels like like the things that they desire or if it was heart over head, they'd get lost in that. And that's why when I said something about like fully immersing themselves that like they don't want to do that because they feel like they'd get lost in that. in you yeah you're gonna have to take this reading how it resonates because i can't really pin down like the dynamic of this connection and i think that's just because you know there's a lot of people watching and that could be for another reason too maybe because you can't so take it out resonates but seeing pile number one from you, I feel like you're watching. <laughs> it's like you have a different standpoint than this person does. Like my pile number one, you're like, like, I get an energy from you where you're like, it's really not that serious. Like, it's not that serious. But for this person, it's very, very serious. Yeah, you and this person have very different views on life. And I think that's what's <laughs> what drew you two together. You know, it's kind of like a... <laughs> Spirit gave me this example, a Grin the Grinch sitting next to a princess. <laughs> Now you gonna have to take which one's which, all right? But it's just kind of like a two different energies finding commonality. Two different energies, like really understanding each other. It's like not really not trying to change anyone. Like neither one of you are trying to change the next person. It's just like like you just you get it you guys click in some way yeah it's like for you pile number one you understand their distance and then for for them they understand why you immerse yourself in life But like them making that crossover and 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 doing that as well is like mm -mm. <laughs> no 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 no. But I do understand why you do it, and I see why how that works for you, and and why you are the way you are, or you think the way you think. It's admirable to them. This person has the energy of like. I've seen too much or I've experienced too much to see things the way that you do. So 
So in some cases, this person might feel like they want to protect you. Mm -hmm. Let's get one last card. Who has their eye on my pile? Thank you. Um, picking up on the color red here. Just like all of the, the, the reds in these cards are popping out to me right now. This is someone who really thinks about you intensely. They admire you, pile number one. They admire, admire your traits, your qualities, your dedication, like they, your, your smarts, your, the knowledge that you have, they admire you. They admire, it's kind of like, maybe this person is an artist. If they're not, they're, they are definitely thinking of you in a artist type of way, you know? It's kind of like they admire you as a whole and the things that have made you who you are. and how you show up in the world. They admire that. They admire the many qualities and traits that you have. This is someone who like, they may, they wanna protect you. This isn't giving like a change you. They don't wanna change you. This is someone who just wants to protect you like on your as you do you. Because again, they see you from like an artistic standpoint. So like changing you is definitely not what they want to do. That's defeats the whole purpose. You are the art, right? But they just want to like, be there or something. Yeah, and I mentioned earlier, like this person feels like they've seen too much or they've been through too much or they've just, they, they've had experiences in life that they feel like you have not and they just want to, like, they feel like their expertise or their knowledge on whatever, uh, the things that they have been through or have seen um, would be good around you because it's like you don't see that or you don't look out for that or you don't something very protective this person's very protective okay so um that's what i've got for you pile number three all right so it's like pull one last card all right who has their eye on you who is this person? Last card. They may like the color blue. Interesting. This person really enjoys the way that you think. Like this person, feel they get a kick out of the way that you think. They feel like... You know, when it comes to you, pile number one, you don't allow people to be underhanded with you. It's like it, you have that energy about you where you you see what's really going on or you see you see things differently, but it gives you um, an edge on life or it gives you, um, I don't know, it gives you further clarity into things. Like this seven of swords energy here, pile number one, I want to say it's your energy. It's like the way that you go about life. Again, this person, they admire this. They admire you. They admire the way that you fight back.
Yeah, this person admires the way that you fight back. This person admires the way that you handle your, <laughs> want to say your seven of swords energy, right? The way that you get back or you fight back or the way that you... Um, I want to say like can get down and dirty. They like that. They like this. They like that about you. They like that. Oh, you've done something. Pot number one. I don't know what it is that you've done, but it comes to this person. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> but you've done something. You've shown this person something. Or you've shown this person another side of you. Or you've shown something. You don't play. Pot number one does not play, okay? In some way, somehow, you've shown this person this, or you've shown this person another side. Now, I don't know if you've shown, shown this person another side um, when it comes to them, or maybe they've just seen you in action, or maybe somebody tried to, like, play you, or maybe some tr someone tried to be underhand. Yeah, goodness, I can't get my words out. Someone tried to be underhanded with you, right? And it's the way that you went about that situation. They loved it. They love it. They love that. It's like every single time this person like sees a layer of you, they love it. New layer of you, okay? And this is why they have their eye on you. It's like because they can't take their eyes off of you. It's just something about you that they love and they admire and they respect and that they can't get enough of, all right? So that's what I got for you, pot number one. This is who has their eye on you. Please like, please comment, definitely subscribe to become a rain job. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile number two, who has their eye on you? Oh, this is somebody who is a flirt. They like you. They are flirting with you. If you think that they're not, if you had to think like, oh, is this person flirting with me? They are. Okay, they are. And maybe this person has a weird way of going about it. I don't know. Maybe their flirtation skills are not, you know, maybe how you would flirt. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But this person is flirting with you, pal, too. Okay? The person that has their eye on you has the biggest crush on you. It's like when they get around you, they're so cheesy. They're so, like, goofy. They're, like, making a fool of themselves to make you laugh. Like, this person is, like, oh, my goodness. Pile number two is here. I got to do something funny. I got to do something funny. I don't know. <laughs> I got to do something. There, I'm picking up on Libra energy. Like right as I was shuffling the cards, I was hearing Libra. Like clear as day. This person may be a Libra. Something with popcorn. Popcorn, popcorn. I don't know, maybe you guys went to the movies or will go to the movies because they're flirting with you. So they're going to ask you on a date or something. I don't know. Maybe you guys are going to see a movie. I'm, see, I'm seeing the drive-in movie, which I haven't been to in years. Are those still a thing? Hmm. I heard car activities. Okay. But, okay, the person that has their eye on you, are like, they try to figure out different ways to flirt with you or, like, um, yeah, for sure. This is someone who's definitely, like, <laughs> flirting. I can't get away from this energy. Very much so, like, kind of like an in-your-face kind of energy. Yeah, this is someone who gives more to you right and maybe in front of other people right like the energy is uh say if this is a co-worker you know and what could they be giving you i don't know but like it's like this person will give you more of something over someone else in front of other people like they'll they they it's that energy of like maybe they're sharing something with everyone right and everybody only got three of them <laughs> right everybody got three 
But then they come over to you and they give you like six in front of everybody. And they're like, damn, all right, so we get it. You like them. Like, <laughs> but this person doesn't care. It's kind of like that energy of um, they don't care if, if other people saw them give you six of them. Because they wanted to give you six. They, they already had it in their mind that they wanted you to have six of them. Okay. So here you go. And then they continue to give everybody else three. You know? <laughs> yeah, this person has that energy. Very fun loving. Very fun. So yeah, I, I spoke on Libra. This person could be a Libra, Sagittarius. Aries. I'm picking up on Pisces too. But yes. <laughs> yeah. They, the person that has their eye on you They like to give you things. They have this energy about about you where they're like, I don't care about what anybody else thinks. Pile two is my favorite. So with that being said, I'm going to move accordingly. Like, you know, I like pile two. I don't like you. <laughs> I like pile two. <laughs> This person has that energy about them. Yes. This person may be older than you. Does not have to be. But they may be. Clarify the fool who has their eye on my pal twos. We got the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm picking up on a resting period. The person that has their eye on you. This person can be very like, I want to even say snobbish sometimes. I don't mean that in a necessarily bad way. It's just this person is like, this is who they are. They're set in their ways. Like, this is what they do. Like, you can't really tell this person too much about themselves because they know who they are and they know how they can come across and they don't really care, you know? Um... It's like this, yeah, this person has made peace with um, the different ways that people may perceive them. You know, it's like this person's like, I don't care about how you view me. I don't care about how you see me. I don't care if you think I'm a snob. I don't care if you think that I'm a bitch. I, I don't care. You know, this person's like, I got shit to do. Why would I sit there and care all day if you view me that way? I got to go and run these errands or I gotta go and go and pick up my child or I have to go and da -da -da. like who gives a fuck <laughs> who cares who cares like really who cares about your feelings in that way I don't okay this is who has their eye on you They give me like a fairy type of energy, right? This person has favorites. They pick their favorites. You are their, one of their, you are their favorite. Okay, that was clarified. You are their favorite. They pick you, they chose you, you're it. That's it. Moving on. And this, this person has the energy of like, I don't really care what you have to say about it either. Listen, like this person gives me like, I'm grown. I'm grown energy. I don't care. Like, uh, they've got things to do. All right. And they've decided on pile two and they like pile two and that's what it's going to be. All right. You can't, this person, their energy, like you can't do anything but respect it. You know, this is the type of person where they just know who they are. They know what, what's going on. They know what they want, what they don't want, you know, and it's just what it is. <laughs> Who has their eye on my pal twos?
The person that has their eye on you, pal two. This is someone who has a lot of wisdom. The person that has their eye on you comes from a different perspective than most. They've experienced a lot of life. And you know the energy of um, like older elderly people where you know they kind of get that attitude where they're like i don't give a fuck about anything anymore and they just say whatever they want to say and they're like they don't care you know those 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 older people that i'm speaking of <laughs> like older 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 elderly people who just don't care because they've done it all they've lived they've lived their life they know all about life they can give you some of the best advice with like two words you know <laughs> like this person is giving that energy now i'm not picking up that this person is elderly like that because the elderly that i'm speaking on is like really 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 elderly but it's the energy of having experienced so much and um not really caring about the details as much as other people do not really caring about like how they're being perceived or not really caring about, you know, the, the different projections that people put on them, you know, because they understand where it's coming from and they just understand human nature. You know, this person has that energy, very wise, very, um, fully, fully immersed in life and what it has to offer and what it has offered. This is who has their eye on you. You're their favorite, Patu. Or one of their favorites, right? And that's it. That's all. This person's like, there's nothing else to more to say. What else do you want me to say about it? <laughs> they enjoy you. They enjoy the way that you... Um, how candid you are, how open you are, how, how you speak freely. The artist in you. They admire the artist in you. Or they love how you ex openly express yourself because that's all we have. Like, express yourself. Don't hold things in. You know? This is how this person feels. This person is quick to make a decision when it comes to people that they meet. This person can tell who they will and will not get along with. Yeah. This is someone who is just very open-minded and can fully disagree with someone and maybe how they even view things and still be able to hear them out or still be able to hear where they're coming from. This person is so curious about life, pal too. And they can pinpoint real quick the people who are just not gonna even try with them or not gonna even be on that same level or are not as open with themselves as they are. Okay, one last card. Who has their eye? This may be someone that you met at work. If that's not the case, this is someone who would like to begin something with you when it comes to work or when it comes to... Um, Maybe even an idea that they have or something like that. This is something that they've, they've been wanting to ask you for a while too. 
or talk to you about for a while. Bring up in conversation. Or maybe they just want to know about the work that you do. If they don't already know about it. This may be someone who's very curious in um, the services that you give. Or they may want to ask for a service or something like that. You're their favorite, pal, too. The person who has their eye on you, you are their favorite, whether you know this or not. Whether you know this person yet or not. If you do not know who this person is, like in this whole reading, you're like, I have no idea who this could be. This is someone who will be um, asking you a question, asking you for a service, asking you something soon. But for others of you, I feel like you do know who this is. And you just know, you know who this is. You just know who this is, right? With you being their favorite, you probably know this. All right, one last card for my pile number twos on who has their eye on them. I'm not taking that. Who has their eye on my pile number three? Or two, 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 two. Got the fool at the bottom of the deck. Again. Yeah, well, okay. So the person who has their eye on you, they speak with a lot of clarity. This is someone who is very sweet. They're very nice, not nice, that's not the word I'm looking for. They're very sweet. but they can also rule with an iron fist. I did mention that this person could be a Libra. That's coming back around again. And this is someone who's very balanced. This is someone who, when their scales are tipping a little bit, or when they're not as balanced, it's like this person could possibly get a little reckless. But this is something that they know about themselves as well. Again, this is not giving me the energy of someone who who's like doesn't know themselves and and is just out here. <laughs> you know, this is giving the energy of um I'm well acquainted with how I show up. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, pile number two. This is who has their eye on you. Please like, please comment. Definitely subscribe to become a rain job. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile number three, who has their eye on you? This is someone, I'm hearing home run, final stretch. Um, I'm seeing a shot clock, right? It's The timer's going down. They've only got five seconds to get this last shot, you know, I'm seeing <laughs> that it's giving those types of energies where it's like final countdown. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the person that has their eye on you feels this way. Like the ticking, the time is ticking. This is how they feel. Gotta make it at the last minute. Gotta go, gotta jet. Yeah, this person is like, um, in motion to you? Like they're on their way to you? This may be someone who's literally on their way right now. Are you waiting on someone? <laughs> I don't know. This energy is a little, it's a little, uh, different. It's like, it's giving me, this is someone, maybe you're about to hang, maybe, okay, listen, listen, listen. Maybe you're watching this reading right now as someone's on their way to come and pick you up. I know that's weird, but this is how it's coming through. You know, the, and this this person, this is who has their eye on you. <laughs> if that doesn't resonate with you, don't take it. Um, but it's that energy though, still same energy, the same energy, it's like, it's 
They're on their way. Somebody's on their way to come and pick you up, child. I like can't get out of this narrative, but let me see. Let's get more. Yeah. Clarify this Knight of Swords, please. Um, who has their eye on my pile number threes? Wow. Wow. Jeez. Whoever this person is, they have the most, like, explosive or dynamic or... yeah confirmation okay because they're like loud they're <sighs> disturb the peace kind of energy yeah they got that energy just like mm. making noise it's like whoever this person is that, that has their eye on you, they want you to see them. They're like loud about it. This is definitely giving a romantic vibe. I mean, we've got the four of wands, we've got the lovers here. Person that has their eye on you has the energy of I like maybe this is just their energy. They they disturb the peace or they will disrupt some shit in order to get their point across or But this is all when it comes to you, pile 3. Let's get more. <laughs> Who has their eye on my pile 3s? Who is this person? Someone who can't stop thinking about you and it's like no cars are coming out it's almost kind of like this person is on their way to you like I don't know how to explain this I'm picking up on like loud footsteps like this person they're <laughs> they're loud they're on their way they don't care about anything else. Now, if this is someone who is uh, pursuing you or if this is someone who uh, you're dating, then this is how they feel about you. They don't care. Like they are loud about you or loud in general child because loud is the word disrupt some shit to get to you i keep getting this like startling energy where they like will shake some ish up loudly to get to you To get to them in what way, though, spirit? What is this? Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, what do they want from my pile threes? Damn, all loud and shit. <laughs> okay, we got ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, this is what they want, pile three. This is someone who... Child, if, if you're in a relationship with somebody and this person, this person wants you, they don't care what the heck 
you're doing. They don't care. They're like, I'm on my way to come and get you. Okay. Now take that if that resonates. If that's not the case, you're not in a relationship with anyone. This still applies. It's like once this person makes up their mind about something or about you or about this connection or not even just make up their mind, like this person with this energy wants you, they will have you. That's how they see it. That's how they see it. Okay. This person has a lot of force. It's like I'm trying to sit in their energy and explain it, but it's hard. <laughs> Because it's such a forceful energy. I feel like if I were to embody this person's energy right now, I would be yelling. I would be yelling. I would be talking really loud, trying to get this point across and express this energy. This person feels like you're the only one that knows them or the only one who knows how to love them correctly or the only person that knows how to speak to them, talk to them. You're like a, a quiet space for them. This is someone who, for their job, they may be around a lot of loud things or just chaos, okay? I don't know. There's like chaos around this person or for their job, it, it involves a lot of like loud noises and crashes and like maybe they're a race car driver or they have a really loud car or they drive a motorcycle or you know you feel the vibes that i'm coming from yeah like that um and you are their like safe space okay and that same energy that they surround themselves with a lot because this is a lot of just who this person is it's like they go to you and they want you because you're opposite of that. It's like you're quiet. You speak to them in a specific way and they love this about you. No one else can do this for them but you. Okay. All right, so let's clarify the lovers for who has their eye on you. This is someone who wants to show you that they will be there for you. This is someone who is determined honestly to show you that i mean with this type of energy that they won't like give up or quit this is someone who feels like they've done that before in the past they've given up on things that they did not want to actually give up on this is someone who's really passionate they're very passionate about you in this connection pa three and they will not give up or quit. Oh gosh, this person's energy, man. It's like they'll put up a fight or they'll, they'll, this person has the energy of, um, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna see it all the way through until the day I die. This is someone who feels like they've always had this energy, but sometimes they didn't apply it. And they feel bad about not applying that energy to those situations. So like they tell themselves now, I, I'll only apply myself to the things that I really want to apply myself to. And that's it. I won't stop. I won't quit. I won't give up. I won't. It won't end. I don't know. Maybe this is in relationships. Where they, they don't want that. very passionate person they're very passionate about you they're very passionate about this connection and this is someone who is not i mean to say that this person isn't playing any games i feel like that's an understatement
This is somebody who is about to see things through with you, okay? They're, they're very serious about seeing things through with you. One last card. Who has their eye on my pile of threes? It's like they've made up their mind. They are balanced when it comes to this connection. And they will only ever take a balanced approach when it comes to this connection. It's like they've shut out the noise. And they're going to do what they want to do. So someone who fought to get to this place of doing what they want to do not what anybody else tells them they should do but it's what they want to do and they fought to get to this balanced place here they fought to be able to like this person like shutting people out or shutting people's opinions out it took a while for them to get here but they're here and they're moving for forward in a very balanced energy they'll only ever be balanced Okay, pile number three. This is how they feel about you. This is who is viewing you or who is has their eye on you. Someone who's very fair. But very, very serious and very um, like on their way. Again, this may be someone who, <laughs> Child, you're going to have to take this reading how it resonates because it's going to resonate differently for um, a lot of you. This could be your person. Yeah, for a lot of you, this really could be uh, the person that you're in a relationship with and this is just how they feel about you. And if that's not the case, take this reading how it resonates. All right, but this is who has their eyes on you. Please like, please comment. Definitely subscribe to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace.